Hi friends! Hi friends! Today we're gonna do another like get ready with me and we're gonna talk about Sarah stuff. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> but more specifically we're gonna talk about types of hair. So what prompted me to make this video is that I like to go on, I'm a part of like a couple of curly hair Facebook groups and I like to go on and see what questions are being asked uh, frequently and then see if I can answer some of those on this channel. So the question that gets asked a ton is, hey, I'm first starting out, what should I do? What should I use in my hair? What are your best products? And that's such a loaded question uh, because there are so many things that go into it. If you answer these four questions, then you can start to know what products will work best. What we're gonna do today, I just washed her hair. I did like a shampoo, conditioner, deep conditioner. So now I'm using Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strength and Condition Leave-In Conditioner. Uh, I like this in the winter, it's a little bit thicker and her hair really seems to like it and her hair needs some moisture. So I'm just taking a little bit and I'm gonna just kind of detangle. That's why it's so um, curly. Mm -hmm. The first question we're gonna answer is hair type or curl pattern. That's probably a better way to put it. You can fall into one, two, three, or four. And type one hair is like straight hair. Um, like I would consider myself a type one. I literally just get out of the shower and brush it and it's just straight. Um, doesn't have any pattern to it at all. So that's one. So if you have type two hair, then you have like wavy hair. So then once you get into type two, that's when it starts to get a little more complex. And so for type two, there's A, B, and C. And so for two, three, and four, they each have A, B, and C. And so type two A has like a little bit of a wave. Um, type two B has like even more of a wave and then type 2C is like when you get the S. So when you're looking at products, they're going to say for wavy hair and that would be type two hair. Now we're on to type three hair, which is what she has. So again, type three is A, B, or C. So three A is, so three is when you really get into like the ringlets. And how I like to visualize A, B, and C is how big of a writing tensile can you fit inside one of the curls? So to A, you might be able to fit like one of those fat, fat, fatter markers. I'm sorry, 3A. So in type 3A, you can fit in like one of the fatter markers. 3B is like a little bit tighter and so you can fit like a pen inside the curl, inside the ringlet. And then 3C is you can fit like maybe a, a number two pencil. So as you know, you can kind of start to think the smaller the diameter, the tighter the curl. Um, and so that's how you go from 3A to 3C. I said that she has type three hair and I normally consider her like 3B, 3C. You know, there are some parts, especially towards the front of her hair that are probably more 3A. It is totally normal to have multiple curl patterns on your head. And it's a spectrum and like you're never gonna fit perfectly into, all these questions are all spectrums. You're never gonna fit perfectly into one nice, nice neat category. So <clears throat> again, when you're looking for product, products that say for curly hair would be like type three hair. I like to start at like this part of her head, especially when I'm doing, I know I have some detangling to do because that always takes the longest and then I kind of move forwards because it takes less time because her hair is less curly and less dense as I get towards the front. So I get the hardest part out of the way first because if I leave it for last then I'm like just trying to rush through like okay it's already taking me forever and I don't do as good of a job. So then we get on to type 4 hair. So type 4 hair is kinky and coily. Um, again type 4 has A, B, and C and 4A is like really really tight curls where you couldn't even fit like a writing utensil in there. 4B is when you start to 
Um, it gets so tight that it almost loses its curl pattern and, and turns more into like a Z. Then 4C is like really, really tight, kinky, coily hair. So when you see the words on hair products like kinky and coily, that's the type of hair pattern that they're talking about. I don't have a lot of experience um, with four, type 4 hair, um, so I'm not really going to be able to speak all that well to hair products that are used on that. And even like wavy hair, I don't really know much about wavy hair or type 2 hair. So that is curl pattern. So the next thing we're going to talk about is hair width. And so if you were to take a piece of your hair, how wide is it? And again, that's going to change the types of products that you're going to use. The wider your hair, the more room it has to absorb products. So you can, the wider or coarser your hair is, the more products it's going to be able to absorb. The test for this is um, to take like one strand of your hair and like look at it on your palm like this and how difficult is it for the naked eye to see. If you have to like really look then it's really fine and the more apparent it is to the human eye the wider it is. Rowan and I both have finer hair and so um, we just have to use lighter products. So now I've covered hair type and hair width. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is density. And so really what density is, in like a square inch of your head, how many individual pieces of hair are there? So the more dense your hair is, the more um, pieces of hair you have. Strands? The more strands of hair you have on your head. When you're looking at, not necessarily product type, but product application, um, if your hair is denser, then you can use more so the denser your hair is, the more product you're going to have to apply, just because you have more strands of hair that need product on them. So the way to tell this is when your hair is dry, not obviously wet like this, how difficult is it to see your scalp? Just in your, in your hair in its natural state, do you have to like press down your hair to see your scalp? Or can you see your scalp easier with, with your hair just dry? So Rowan has like a medium to thicker density. Um, and my hair kind of changes based on where it is. Like I know like right up here, I get, I'm like nervous. I'm starting to like thin right here. But like on top of my head and stuff, it's a little bit, it's denser. Does anyone have any like good treatments for that? I should probably know, but like I'm just getting nervous that my hair's back in a ponytail so much I'm losing some hair. I could just right in these two spots. Okay. So now her hair ha has been detangled with the leave-in conditioner. The last question that you have to ask yourself about your hair is its porosity. And porosity is just how, if you think about, if this is a strand of hair, and on it it has like the cuticles, if like your finger is a cuticle, how op open or closed is that cuticle? And so really what it comes down to is your hair's ability to absorb moisture, absorb and retain moisture. So if you have low porosity hair, it means your cuticles are really tight, and so it's difficult for water to get in. If your cuticles are really open, it's easy for the moisture to get in. The flip side of that is if your cuticle's really tight, once your hair absorbs that moisture, it doesn't really lose it all that quickly. Whereas if you, your cuticle is open, it tends to lose that moisture quicker. And again, it's gonna be on a sliding scale. So it's not like you have low porosity hair and everyone who has low porosity hair acts the exact same way. Versus you have high porosity hair, so everyone with high porosity hair acts the exact same way. It's a spectrum. So Rowan has low porosity hair. And the way that I figured it out, because I really thought she had high porosity hair because I felt like her hair was drying out all the time. Um, but what I think it was is I, I wasn't layering the products correctly and so her hair was never actually even absorbing it. So now I'm just using this Brazilian Curly Cocktail, cocktail Curl Cream. What I did, what I finally did is um, a curl test. And so I took one, and I'm just kind of like raking this in. 
now that her hair is pretty much detangled. What we did is I took a dry, clean strand of her hair and I put it in a cup of water. You don't want any product on it because that could distort how much moisture it's able to absorb. Um, so dry, clean hair, and I just took a strand and I put it in a cup of water. If your hair is low porosity, it will stay floating towards the top. If it's medium porosity, it will float towards the middle. And if it's high porosity, then it'll go towards the bottom because that's just how much moisture it's absorbing. So you only need to let it sit there for like 10 or 15 minutes. And so I went back after like 10 or 15 minutes and it was still at the top. And I'm like, oh, well, I haven't given it enough time. So then I let it sit there for like an hour and it was still at the top. <laughs> That's silly. I'm like, let me just keep it in there. The next day it was still at the top. And I'm like, okay, so she really does have low porosity hair. So that kind of switched the types of products that I was using um, and also the product application. So um, her hair needs to be like soaking wet to absorb product because I have to open up those cuticles first. I don't really need to, sometimes I use like a sealing oil, but I don't need to use it because her cuticles like really close easily. So, so I really like the LCO method. So I do a leave-in, which was like this. So I do a leave-in and that just starts to, once it's wet, starts to add moisture back in. Then I do a cream. So I did this curl cream because um, that helps with the curl pattern and frizz. And then like an oil or a gel. So today I'm gonna use this jelly, Dippity Doo Girls with Curls Jelly. And that method works really well for me. And doing some research, I heard that if you have, I learned that if you have high porosity hair, um, it helps to do L, the LOC method. And so that's doing um, a leave-in and then an oil because it starts to seal it, but then add more moisture in after that with another cream. All right, so I'm just taking this. Again, starting at the back and the bottom half of her hair because I don't want to weigh down the top. And I like to pull kind of her hair up like this because then um, instead of like, because I'm, I'm trying to get as much volume as I can. And I'm scrunching to get some of that curl pattern back. So low porosity, I do LCO, and then for higher porosity hair, LOC method. So yeah, go ahead and test your hair. So I'm gonna put her hair up. I have this this cap, and one side is like plastic, um, so like a shower cap type, and then the other one is like a cloth. So I'm going to plop her hair in this, and we're gonna let it dry. I think we've covered all of our bases. So the first thing is curl type. Um, how tight is your curl pattern? So one, two, three, or four, and then within two, three, four, A, B, and C. So the next question is your hair width. Is your hair really fine? Is your hair really coarse? One thing I don't think I mentioned in that part is um, the finer your hair, the more prone it is to breakage. So you just wanna be more careful when manipulating your hair. The third one is density. You know, taking a, a square inch of your head and how many strands of hair are on um, that section of your head. So if it's less dense, you'll use less product. More dense, more product because you have more strands of hair. And last but not least is porosity. How well does your hair absorb moisture, absorb product? So I think if you answer those four questions, it will give you a much clearer point of view on where to start. Uh, what did you learn in today's video? What did you not know? What other questions do you have? What type of hair do you have? I'd love to see what type of hair you have in the comments down below and see if we can make some connections. Subscribe to, my, uh, to our channel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. Yep. And we will see you in our next video. Bye. Bye. Um, um, they did the week, um, underwear too. Yeah. Um. Pieces? I don't know if pieces is the right word. Um, it's the middle of the week and I don't normally like to do wash days in the middle of the week, but someone took a bottle like that bag of oil and dumped it all over their head. Oh.
<laughs> Bye, buddy. I hope you find your dad. Hi, friends. Gosh darn it. <laughs> Let's go make dinner. As you're filling up on candy. Ugh.